Good afternoon, and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, September 26, 2018. We're so excited to have in the studio with us. We are promised jetpacks.
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with We Were Promised Jetpacks. Thanks so much for coming in, guys, for Thank round you. two. It's been a while, but we're glad to have you back. So in the footage and documentation of recording the new album, there was a boat uh, yeah. at one of the studios, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you all managed to fit in it, but talk a little bit about why the boat was there, how often you guys were out on the on the long journey on Long Pond. <laughs> Yeah, the three o'clock boat, three o'clock boat <laughs> time is what it was called. It, it took a while to get us in the boat. It, uh, we weren't in there on the first day, were we? It took a wee while. Mm. We were like, nah, we're not going in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day we went in the boat, and then every day after that we went in the boat. It was a daily ritual. Yeah, yeah the three o'clock boat trip. Oh, Sometimes a little beer, a little <laughs> beer the in the boat. Doesn't matter what you're doing in the studio, <clears throat> drop everything. Three o'clock boat. Oh, wow. Nice. So, ultimate team building, because that was not a big boat either. <laughs> like, no. Was there one person that was always freaking out, or one person that was the primarily the captain of the boat, there the was paddler? Nothing, there was nothing you could have done to boat. got me in that boat. There was no way I was going to the boat. <laughs> it wasn't happening. He was documenting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peter was probably the captain. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so that was only <laughs> one location of this whole album coming together so you were there you were in philly you were demoing in a cottage yeah. like just west of edinburgh in one of the locks like a yeah, while uh, back like fine yeah just north of glasgow but we probably did like five or six rounds of demoing like uh so we spent a lot of time uh working on these songs and it just meant before going to record them for real, we'd like done it four or five times, and uh, and we just made sure that we, ev we all knew what we were doing. Um, so when we went to go record, it's just like everything's done. Yeah, we don't need to stress about that. It's just recording. So it was. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we did so much demo. Yeah, and one of the things that was surprisingly prepared that usually isn't per like other interviews was the lyrics. Yeah. Was that something that you were talking a lot about like 30s and everything kind of coming were was that kind of part of the writing process just a lot easier this record or was it just like talk about kind of why yeah, well, you think, were able to like prepare yeah yeah they, they we didn't want to book a studio in advance and be like okay in six months we're going to record let's make sure we have songs we were genuinely we would have waited as long as it took before we got songs that we wanted to tour around um so once we like had the songs together it was like right now let's book the studio mm -hmm. nice well yeah we'll talk more about the studios and kind of bouncing around uh in a little bit but if you guys are ready let's go into some more music cool
Under the 
you're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio where we were promised jet packs. And going back to recording, this was the first time you recorded in the States, is that correct? Correct, yeah. And what, I mean, you've done it uh, in England, Scotland, Ireland. It feels like every album you've recorded is somewhere different. Is there a reason to that? Or, you know, some bands like to go to the same people because it's like, oh, they really understand our sound, so we're going to keep on going back to that one studio. Was there a reason for always going to somewhere different to record? No, I don't think it was a... It wasn't, it wasn't a decision that we made beforehand that we wanted to go somewhere else. It was, um, it was more down to the producer. We, uh, yeah, we, we spoke to a bunch of folk and John seemed super chilled and obviously really knew what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we were like, as, <clears throat> as soon as he was on board, we are like, uh, yeah, well, he was like, we, he said, uh, he's got these two studios that he usually works out of. It's like a place in Philly's got a nice big live room, so we can do do the drums and bass in there, and go to uh, upstate New York and finish off guitars and vocals and another little bits and bobs. And uh, we're like, yes, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, was there? Have you done that previously as well, doing multiple locations for the record, or have you traditionally done everything in one studio? Uh, that's the first time we've moved. Yeah, yeah that's the first time we moved. It was really nice. The place in Philly was like in a residential area, so good. Uh, just go out to a bar or a restaurant and then uh, we did six shows in between the two recording sessions yeah so it was like 10 days in philly then six gigs in a row and then the next day it was up to upstate new york and then that was nice that was just really tranquil and three o'clock boat time and yeah <laughs> you know making sandwiches it's uh we did a couple of one thousand piece jigsaws there you go yeah uh, are, are we talking landscape puppy oh, yeah. like what are these jigsaws uh, they were, they like were really hard. They were mental. Yeah. <laughs> like fruit, fruit, fruit and dogs. Was there a dogs one or cats? I don't know. Uh, candles. There was candles. Candles. Candles, candles. candles. Uh, candles piled on top of each other, so you can't tell the definition between <laughs> what candles. I feel like we're making it sound like we didn't actually record anything. Yeah, I mean, kind of did. I feel this is like a corporate retreat. It's <laughs> like you're in the boat together. You're doing jigsaws, yeah. like recording some music. I mean, it felt, it felt like that. It was like such a relaxed and like um, productive atmosphere. Um, and it was just a, it was a beautiful place to spend uh, three weeks together. Uh, I don't think I left like the house or surrounding area the whole time. Uh, yeah, it was great. Nice. And even that break, it seemed like stuff was selling out, so you had to keep on adding dates. Like it started with six, and then you're like, "Oh, we're doing another day here because this one sold out." Like, oh yeah, that, that was, was crazy. Yeah, yeah. And that was kind of the the hopeful plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. To see how it goes, but uh, yeah, it was it was great because we hadn't like put any new music out in ages, and it was it was amazing to be able to uh, play the songs live because I uh, feel that it it just helps us uh, get to the finished product um, by playing them live. So we did a week in the UK and then a week in the States, and uh, yeah, it was really really useful uh, for us to to play them live. Nice. Now now you have the template for the next record. It's yeah. like, p fans, if you're a fan of them, next time they're in the studio, just start buying them jigsaw puzzles and sending them to them <laughs> so they can start warming up and, and getting chocolate. all the chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Are you, uh, like, semi-sweet, dark? Like, what, what are we going for semi -sweet, with the chocolate? Semi-sweet. Yeah. Semi-sweet, okay. Nice. But uh, the new album is called uh, The More I Sleep, The Less I Dream, and you can definitely check that out. It came out a couple weeks ago. And if you're all ready, are we ready to go into the last song? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for listening. Perfect. <laughs>
Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with We Were Promised Jetpacks. Definitely check out their new record available now entitled The More I Sleep, The Less I Dream. They're currently on tour in the United States in North America until the end of October, and then they'll be touring Europe in starting the 14th of November. We were <laughs> promised jetpacks. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much thank for you. spending your day with us here in the Audio Tree studio. Thanks to everyone in the studio today, sound engineers, stage and lighting crew, and you, the viewer. If you want to connect with us, give us a shout or the band on social media. And from all of us here at Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?